What is good guys? And welcome back to the channel. We are heading out today all day, hitting uh, potentially a new mark of mine that I've wanted to try for a, a little while now. We're gonna get out there. It's about a two mile walk from where I've got a park the van and probably most likely a climb down a cliff to get down into the little cove that's there. Um, it doesn't look accessible that or that easily accessible, but hopefully it should be all right. You've got me all day. I'm taking all my gear in, in the wet bag, or dry bag, shall I say. Don't want it wet, I want it dry. I'm taking all my gear down in the dry bag. I'm gonna leave that on the beach. I'm taking all my camera equipment with me, my drone, my main camera, my GoPro, my backup batteries for my GoPro. And um, yeah, I'm gonna make it an absolute banger today. So hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be an absolute awesome dive today. But anyway, so I've got some important news to tell you why I'm frothing in a minute. I'm absolutely frothing for this, so I'll tell you this after the intro. But it's gonna it's gonna be awesome, even though the weather is raining and foggy as hell. So hopefully this clears up by the time I want to use the drone and my main camera. But I'll be sticking to the GoPro camera until the weather sort of sorts itself out. But I will take the gear with me just in case. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. I might look a little bit through all the YouTube comments that you guys have left about what you'd like to see from me and the channel. If I can hit any of them today, then then I'll throw, I'll do it. I'll do it if I can. If there's any that I can actually do today, then then I'll do them today. Um, but yeah, so apart from that, I'm not going to keep you any longer. We're heading out, and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's run the intro. I'll see you in a second. Artist production. do eh I got a huge bag I got camera gear drone all my sparing gear got a spear bag fins suits yeah it's not a this ain't enjoyable hopefully it'll be worth it though see you in a bit That's good guys. So I'm probably about a mile, mile away from where I want to head down in. This is looking incredible. So this fog's awful though. Check, check this fog out. As you can see, it's not very good. So yeah, that don't matter, but I'm just taking a break. Like this, uh, this is all my gear here. So like it's cutting into my shoulders. So, um, yeah, just taking a little break for a sec. And then, um, I'll probably say we're just over halfway. I've just checked on Google Maps because I can't actually see um, anything. So yeah, I've just checked on Google Maps. Um, definitely gonna be pinpointing my location to my wife, um, especially because of this fog. Like I can only literally see, I don't know if I said 500, 500 foot, it's about all I can see. So always be safe. And um, yeah, let's get loaded back up and uh, Let's get going. What's good guys? So went to get to the spot. Um went to um get to the spot. Uh just got here and um yeah just finding somewhere now to um stick on my gear. I don't like bringing my stuff down to the beach, I trust nobody. I don't really fancy leaving that on the beach anywhere like out in the open. I don't get how you guys can do it. So I've just found a little section in the rock that I'm going to put down and hopefully 
no one accesses here. I have seen some footprints down here, so people have got down here. Um, but put it in now, hope for the best, and hopefully some people can change my mind today. So um, yeah, let's get it going. And uh, let me talk to you about why I'm frothing. So guys, we've made it, we're here, we're set up, we're about to head out, and I just wanna tell you guys the reason why I'm frothing today. So the guys at Freedivers got in touch with me and they've asked me to review the Bulldog spear gun from them. Now they're a South African um, firm um, who've created this spear gun, like the same as Rob Allen. Now I'm a Rob Allen fanboy, if those of you that don't know me, I love my Rob Allen. So they've sent the gun out to the perfect person because people have tried to get me off Rob Allen and that they just can't. So I'm actually hoping that this gun can get me off of Rob Allen. Now, it's a beautiful looking gun. This is a 90 centimeter with a reel. Um, they do send an extra bungee if you do want to run it through your throat float line. Um, so obviously you just attach your bungee up here and attach it to the gun. So you have got the option. It does come as standard if you do order the reel. Um, whether you'd like to run that, be able to run that off your float line or with the reel. Now it's a single banded, 16mm single band with a 6.25mm hunt shaft. Um, now the shaft looks really nice. Um, they, they've, the people that have obviously designed this gun um, have designed this specifically for UK waters. Um, obviously the Rob Allens are a bit more sort of generic for, for big game fish. Um, but this has been designed specifically for UK waters. The benefit of having a 6.25mm shaft is that basically with a bigger gun like a 90 like this for example you can still shoot them smaller target fish um, with good accuracy and the smaller smaller spear and the uh, single 16 mil band is there to increase accuracy less recoil in the water um, so that might take some getting used to for me um, coming from a double banded and um, 90 centimeter tuna but I'm excited to get out there. So uh, beautiful, beautiful handle. Um, I like the handle. I love the handles without the molded grips and everything like that. I love this with this lattice effect um, on here for extra grip. Nice metal um, trigger and um, the handle feels really solid. Um, I like the safety feature here. Um, it's like a, like a gun trigger, a drill style um, safety feature, which is really nice. Um, hoping that doesn't get in the way before I go out. Um, accidentally clicking on or whatever but um, yeah absolutely beautiful gun as a standard thing that the South Africans like to do is they are robust okay um, the materials that are made out of without getting all into tech specs and everything like that I'll just dumb it down for all you guys is that basically non corrosive materials um, very lightweight so these guns come with a closed muzzle an open muzzle a single band or a double band if you like hence why I'm guessing that they've obviously got the two shark fins on the spear. So this one's the open muzzle. I prefer an open muzzle to a closed muzzle. Um, they come in a 60, 70, 80 or 90, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I will have to double check, but I'm sure that's what they come in. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this one out, um, especially because of the pinpoint accuracy. First thing I did do this morning, if you guys don't do this with your new guns, please do this with your new guns. Um, I lost a lot of fish because I didn't do this. Um, basically, I remember many years ago, Dan Man, if you haven't checked Dan Man out, go check his videos out. He does an absolutely incredible video on how to basically call it like tuning, tuning your flopper. Now, with a new gun, they're very loose. Um, you want that to stay out and not come in quite easy. You need the force to be able to come back in. Um, you'll keep fish a lot more. Um, so go check him out. Um, I will put a link in the description at the bottom just, just to his video to show you how he tunes his flopper. Um, you just basically get a nice little hammer in here and you just pinch them in slightly so that it hugs the spear a bit better. But without further ado, let's get in the water.
What's good, guys? So we've just got changed for a minute. And um, did get a lobster while we was out there. So we're going to make some lunch. Um, and I'm going to wait for the tide to turn. I definitely want to get back out on that spot. Some of them bass that come through, um, those schools, like probably the smallest was probably about 50, 55 centimetre. But one of the biggest in there has got to be a double, a double figure, double figure bass easily. Haven't shot a fish yet. Shot at fish, but not shot at fish. Um, it's a new gun, got to get used to it. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk through that in a second. Let's get this lobster going. Yeah. Yo guys, take a look at this, right? So I've only got the stove. I wasn't expecting to have a lobster today. So I've only got the stove and a, and a small frying pan. So um, yeah, we've got the lobster cut up here. As you can tell, I want to hunt to see if I can find some like green sticks or something like that. Probably like climb up here somewhere and then try and find some uh, green sticks or something. Um, but I've just headed down here and uh, found myself a nice, nice little grill. Look at that. That's perfect. Give that a little clean up and uh, yeah. Throw that on top of the on top of the flame and uh, cook ourselves some uh, lobster. that plastic mountain. Oh man. Give up with a frying pan, uh, with the grill, didn't really work. So I just threw it on the frying pan and I didn't think it would work, but it's working all right. Just waiting on the claws now. I absolutely love the claws. Claws are the best bit. Warm up a little bit, and then we'll get back out there and hopefully come back with a stonking bass. That's what I reckon. God, never get bored of lobster. Whoa, hell. Yo, guys, so, um, yeah, lobster's cooked up. Having some lobster, you guys wanted a catch and cook, a lot of you wanted a catch and cook. Wasn't the one I was expecting. I was expecting a bass or probably a pollock. I was being quite selective in the first half of this dive. Um, obviously I've got a lot of pollock. Um, I've got about four pollock in the freezer and two bass. So I didn't really want to take a lot. Like I could have taken a few pollock that were, that were legal, decent size. Didn't take them. I might take them in the second part to maybe have a little bit of dinner before I go back home, but I didn't need to take them. Um, there was some big bass out there. Some really big bass out there. Easily double figure bass. Um, a bit gutted I couldn't get them in close enough. The two the two lot that did come in, like there was one that first come in, he just cruised right in. And um, yeah, like I was a bit gutted on that one. And then, like, later on in the distance, there was, like, there was a big school of them. Um, definitely double figure, definitely double figure. 
and um, probably would have been my personal best, like by a long way. Um, they come in at the end of my end of my breath hold, so there wasn't really much I could do with that. Um, just kept hanging around in the spot for a bit and seeing what would come and a few mullet come through, etc. Um, but we're going to smash it in the next one, definitely. But we got lobster, so we can't we can't complain about that. We got something. We're having a little cook up here. Just cooking up the other half now that's currently cooking. Got two big claws to throw in the thing. I'll munch them up in a second. Got a bit dark here. Whoa, hell. That's twice I've done that now. Anyway, so, <laughs> oh, that's a bit too light now. Let's get that, drop that down a little bit. There we go. So, first impressions on the gun. Um, awesome gun, awesome gun. Feels lovely in the hand. I love the handle. I love the handle. I love this grip. Um, it feels really nice. It's a really nice handle, so I'm really impressed with that. Reel's going to get me, take me getting used to on loading the guns back up. It's what it is. Never used a reel before, so I'm going to get used to that. Shouldn't be an issue. But the biggest one for me today so far, and I hope it's going to change, is this safety mechanism. Now, at first, when I first opened it, I thought, cracker, that is, that is actually a really good idea because most of the guns I've got, they've got the safety just up here. And it's like a little push or whatever. I always forget what way's locked, what way's not locked. I always forget, I never use it. I can't get my gun, I can't push it in. A bit of salt water in there and it clogs itself up. So I never use safety. I just use gun safety in general. Don't point it at someone, deload it if you're obviously doing something, etc. Um, now, I thought, oh yeah, decent. Uh, actual safety that I could probably use for once. As you could tell from that video, there was a mullet out there and um, I tracked him through the gutter I had a perfect shot on him. He didn't even know I was there. And as I went to take the shot, I must have at some point while diving in the kelp, knocked that safety on. So I've gone to shoot the fish, no trigger. So that being said, I don't like this system, <laughs> to be honest with you, because I lost the fish because of it. But it's not a massive issue. What I would probably do is put some glue here or some tape and I will stop this from coming out and I'll just go back to not using the safety. Um, I'll probably use some super glue and make sure that that stays there forever and doesn't come off. I don't need to use the safety. Um, I, I use gun safety in general. So from that, first impression's pretty good. Really easy to load. Feels really nice in the hand. Shot, shoots all right, but um, yeah, can't wait to get back out there again and hopefully shoot a fish this time. So we're, we're going to have a look.
good guys. Well, that was a better dive, wasn't it? Yeah, that was um, that was loads better. That was. Oh, um, good part too. But so we got two pollock in that session. I didn't want to take a pollock really, to be honest, because I've, I've got quite a few at home. Um, but just get something for a captain cook for you guys and that. Like, like look at that, beautiful, absolutely beautiful this. And um, to be honest with you, I'm sort of glad that those bass didn't come in close enough for me to take a shot earlier, because I think I wasn't. Obviously, I didn't know how the gun shot, so. I think if I'd shot the gun and missed one, I think I'd be even more pissed off than uh, the fact that they didn't come in close enough and give me a chance to shoot them. But the second pollock that was um, wasn't on film. Um, the GoPro ran out like I think like about five minutes before I caught it, and um, that was a, that was a harder shot. That one it was swam off, um, so I, I was from behind it as it swam off. Managed to get a really good shot on it, got it in. So the gun's really good. Yeah, those little those little bits I was mentioning earlier. Yeah, like forget them, they're they're not a problem. Like I checked the safety was always off every single time. Had no issues with that. Um the line getting caught on the shark fins, not not bothered, not bothered by that at all. I didn't even notice or anything. Um and yeah, shot shot lovely. Shot absolutely beautifully. Bit gutted that I missed that mullet because of the because of what a thing, but you know now I know it won't happen again, sort of thing. So yeah, what a cracking gun. I feel it just needs an extra band on it. They have said that you can put another band on it, so I might look into getting another band on it. And uh, I'll tell you what, it might be my new daily driver that because uh, I feel it's lacking a little bit of power just just because just because I'm used to that double banded tuna. But I'll tell you what though, that spear, having that smaller spear is really nice. Like when it, once I caught the fish, once I was dispatching the fish and that, usually with my tuna, because it's such a big spear, you can feel it like pulling the fish down and it becomes a bit hard. It becomes a bit annoying sometimes, like trying to deal with the spear and the fish at the same time. This, I thought it had fallen off, but now it was still on, it was that light. The whole gun's really light compared to compared to the Rob Allen, which is which is really nice. It's not lugging something so big around, you know. It's like it's like this is taking like a sniper rifle, and then my Rob Allen's like a bloody bazooka. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna get another band on this, and I think this is my new daily driver. I'll give this a nine out of ten actually, to be honest with you. Cracking gun. But I'm gonna solidly use it for about a month. So um, I'm going to use it for a month every day. Every time I go out, I'm going to use it for a month, barring next week when I go um, on the boat with the Frenchman. But yeah, I'm going to use it every every time I go out, and I'm going to come back and review the gun in a month's time. Obviously, this is first impressions out the box and uh, in the water. So, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty I'm pretty chuffed with it. You know, I'm pretty chuffed with it. It's actually a really, a really nice gun. So I thank Free Divers for giving me the opportunity to um, tash one of your guns out and sending one out. I really do appreciate it. Any of you guys are interested in getting this gun, link is in the description below. Head down, head direct to their site. Um, you can go and grab yourself one of these guns. I really like it, actually. Like, even my mate, when I when I brought it into work the next day after it was delivered, even my mate was like, yo, that's sexy, I, 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 I want one of them. Like, you don't even spearfish, mate, do you know what I mean? Like, but, yeah, I really like the gun. I really like it, actually. So, yeah, absolute cracker. So, yeah, if you want to get one, in the links down below. Um, I reckon, you know, a couple more dives and I'll master this gun. I reckon I'll... I'll like, because it's a bit different, you know? But, yeah, I think I'll master it, like, you know what I mean? But, 
I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? The next one's going to be an absolute cracker, so you better keep an eye out for that. And like I say, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I appreciate it. You don't want to miss any of these videos. We've got some good, good content coming in the next six months, like massively good content. So you don't want to miss any of that. So hit the subscribe button. Much love, dive safe, and we'll see you on the next one.